Hey guys, this is Martin from Cyber51. Today I'm going to show you an authentication attack against a wireless infrastructure with a radio server. So a lot of businesses deploy enterprise grade security where they use a radio server rather than pre-share key. Uh, it's a lot more secure than pre-share key, but it also has it, its attack vectors and weaknesses. So for the demonstration purposes here, I'm going to launch EasyCreds, which is a wireless assessment tool and a penetration testing tool around wireless infrastructures so you can set up fake access point and things like that and it's asking us what we want to do so we want to set up a fake access point option three we want to do the free radius attack option four it's asking us for pre-share key for the radius it doesn't really matter we don't need that because we only want to capture credentials so anything will do and then it's asking us which interface we want to launch the attack on which is wlan1 in our case or our external antenna uh, which ssid so you will typically use the one you're trying to penetrate like um, the corporate ssid so let's just call it co in this example here and then which channel you want to broadcast it on let's choose channel six for example and that's it now we are launching our free um well fake access point really okay and that's up and running now and if we go over to a client we will, uh, let's just turn the wireless off here quickly. Let's turn wireless off and turn it back on. So now we are going to see our our access point and here it is. See the CO, the one we created, the spoofed one. So we, we click here, we wanna connect to that. And then what we get is we get enter username and password. So it's asking us for the radius authentication. So we simply put in test and test and simply click okay. And then nothing is actually going to happen here because um, obviously nothing has been prepared other than spoofed radius access point. So what we're going to do here in the next step is we can now quit our uh, current poisoning session. So bring that access point down again. Okay. And then we simply exit here the evil creds application and we swap into the easy creds directory, which we're already in. And then we just need to pick the one which we have just created. So it's a bit of bit hard typing here and holding the phone at the same time. Um, 0041. Okay, and then let's just move into this directory. This is a real pain, the keyboard on the on the tablet. Other than that, it's really good, but typing here is quite tricky, as you can see. So sorry about that. But now you can see we have two files here. We have a free radio scratch uh, txt and a dump file. So if we simply say cat and free radius txt and you will see what we captured so we, we captured the username test and we captured the challenge and the response and now what we could do is we take the challenge and the response and we can crack it with as leap for example which is a, a freeware tool uh, in order to get to those credentials but you see even radio server authentications are not necessarily safe from all sorts of attacks so I hope you found that useful and I look forward to see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.